I want to know this. Are you a woman at home and you're doing all the cooking? Getting a little sick of it? Yes? Okay. Mike Ward is here. He's going to fix that. That's what he says. You're going to fix it with your special gloves. <laughs> I don't know. We have gloves on set here all the time, but right now I'm scared. Like, I what's am a going professional. On? You're a professional. So the theme behind this is let's get the dudes cooking a little bit. Yeah. Right? It's 1995. It's time for equality in the kitchen. Let's get the dudes <laughs> back in the kitchen. I uh, took the liberty of saying hello to our only male in the audience today, Daniel, who's up the back. I asked him a little bit about, about his cooking experience. Yes. He fears cooking, but he wants to do a little bit more. So this oh, is like for that. you, Daniel. This is your own private lesson today. Daniel, this is for you, buddy, who totally regrets now having tickets to City Line today. He's he like, really oh, does. my God, I thought I could just hide in the back. In background. total fear. But he's going to learn something today. The, the, really, the purpose of this is a couple of quick dishes that you know you can send you know you don't have to go to the liquor store you can actually do something practical in the <laughs> kitchen you know your, what I mean you stay and you that's cook. right you stay and you cook so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an amazing roast chicken with root vegetables okay. and we've got a salad here everything created in one bowl so the reason obviously where I'm why I'm wearing gloves is because I'm handling raw chicken right first thing you want to do is slide about a tablespoon of butter in under that Skin. And under the skin. Yeah. This this adds major flavor, does it not? It really does. It's going to bring moisture in. Mm -hmm. Don't get too fussy about breaking it up and whatnot because as that melts, that'll it'll spread it's a out. We are doing this with gloves. I must admit, when I did this at home, yeah, I didn't do it with the gloves. No, but it's better this way. This way, we can still shake hands later. We can still right? shake. Yes. You keep those So that those will melt in on. there like that. Yeah. Now. We're going to put half a lemon in the middle. The reason why we're doing that is twofold. Mm -hmm. One is because that's going to transfer an incredible amount of flavor into that chicken. You'd be surprised how much citrus flavor goes into that meat. Oh, really? The second, okay. and I think more importantly, is that that's going to slow down the cooking inside, which will make it cook, which will make it cook evenly. So it will cook mm. from the outside in mm -hmm. so it won't dry out because if you didn't do that what would happen is it would get really overcooked and then the skin wouldn't get crispy yes so, we want the crispy skin that's exactly what we want so generous amount of salt on the bird yeah don't get too fussy about kind of sides bottom rustic approach is nice I think yeah the whole point is actually to just to, to get it done you know it's nothing has to be fussy in this meal right that's, that, it. that's often what keeps me away from cooking that's it I don't want to know that everything has to be followed to a T it can be you know whatever do it your way make it look rustic the vegetables uh, that you've included here chop them up in big chunks so that's yeah. easy easy nothing they, special nothing vegetables. special I've got sweet potato beets I've got garlic the garlic I've got is amazing onions roasted. Yeah, potatoes and parsnips. Yeah. And we're going to finish it up with a bit of rosemary like this. Very nice. Fresh rosemary. You can use Gentlemen. thyme if you like. Fresh is better. Daniel? Is he still there? Taking notes, buddy? Yeah, he's taking notes. Okay. He totally doesn't look intimidated. It's great. He feels, he feels good about this. In okay, so oven. we're done this. Yeah. Bang. 475. Start at 475, but the moment you slide it in, you're going to reduce it to 400 because what yeah. that's going to do is it's going to crisp up that skin really quickly and then. About 50, 60 minutes, juices will run clear. That's mean it's done. Pull it out, let it rest for about 15 minutes. Okay. Beautiful. If you are at all a little iffy about whether it is done or not, would you suggest they use the thermometer? You can. 155 to 165 is yeah. about done. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Second. Sometimes that's, you know, it's tricky. Yeah, it is tricky. And like I say, juice is clear. You know, you can see the juices running clear. That tells you really that it's yes. done. Yes. Okay. Uh, second, lazy man salad. Daniel? Hey, thank you, buddy. <laughs> okay, we've got arugula here. Don't buy the stuff with the roots on it and the dirt. Pay the extra 50 cents. Get them to clean it for you. <gasps> I love that you said that. Okay. Yeah, I'm not precious about that. And My aren't you going to say, and then when you take it home, cents. you have to wash it again? No, no, you do not. Good. Honestly, the machines or the factory of humans that they have that do this nowadays is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> So spinach there. <laughs> Let's uh, just you can, well, it's I've clean. got arugula. You can use spinach. Yep. I've got some feta cheese here. I actually like blue cheese as well, but a lot of people mm -hmm. find blue cheese kind of polarizing. I love it. Yeah, if you're not into that strong taste, you might not want the blue cheese. Yeah, feta on top. Yeah. And then I've got some chopped walnuts here. I like that you've got like chili flakes as well. Well, yeah. That's Does that just bump it up a little bit? Little treat that I like. A lot of people don't think of using heat in salads. Yeah. I like it though. No, it's good. A little bit of chili. A cool salad, a little bit of heat. It's a yeah. good. It's a good thing. Good splash of olive oil. Mm -hmm, the good stuff. I'm having a little problem with my spout today. Okay. Hence the gloves. Yeah. 
Okay, so then we have our salad done. You and can see Lindsay's. how the chicken with the roast vegetables will look after you take it out. Um, the salad's amazing. I mean, who wouldn't love a meal like that, right? Whether it's the dude or the woman in your life, sure, you can clap. It looks that good. It looks good. Can you do that, Daniel? Nod. Yes. Daniel, I want Daniel to do it, and then I want him to take a picture, and then I want him to send it in. Tweet, tweet us, and tweet Mike, okay? Daniel, Hashtag you can do Daniel it. Daniel can cook. Daniel, give me a nod. <laughs> Daniel, give me a nod. Yeah. We love you, Daniel. Yeah. Thank you. You can do it. Cityline.ca, if you're not Daniel, you want to look up the uh, recipe.